Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah Fibriana Adrian. I'm an architecture student of Diponegoro University. So today I'm going to present you my architectural project for the seventh semester with the title of Redesigning Traditional Market of Krangen in Yogyakarta. So let's start it. Traditional market has been one of the sectors driving the economy of the people in Indonesia for a long time where the role of traditional markets is to be a form for social, cultural, and economic interactions. One of them is Krangen traditional market in Yogyakarta. This market, which has been around since the early 19th century, is located in the city center with a strong cultural destination of Yogyakarta, by covering more than 1,000 traders who are detailed from food to local handcrafts of the people of Yogyakarta. This market is a center for suppliers from areas in Yogyakarta, making the Kasa Krangen has the potential as one of the most complete traditional market and is supported by strategic locations. However, the special layout of the market has not been conditionized and the cultural impression that exists in this market is not reflecting its location. With various weaknesses, that exist, there are various approaches or design approaches that can be applied with the opportunities that exist both from the site and the surroundings environment, where the culture and sustainable become the base approaches of this design referring to Chukchukarta culture and in ornament and from sustainable point of view. Located on Jalan Pangeran di Ponegoro with a total land area of 6,180 square meters and an existing building area of 7,400 square meters, there are several guidelines that must be followed based on Peraturan Daerah Kota Yogyakarta Number 1, Tahun 2015-2035. From this axonometric, you can see there are some cultural spots in the neighborhood that from the well-known Malioboro to its traditional food delegacy surrounds it. The site analysis ranging from wind movement, climate analysis to demographics are very important in determining zoning and further design. There are two precedents that I use for my reference. The first one is the Sarijadi Market. The Sarijadi Market is the result of revitalizations carried out by Andrea Martin and Ridwan Kamil which carries the concept of one-stop shopping center that is a friendly to people with disabilities that makes it inclusiveness. The second one is the Santa Catarina Market where it was built in 1848 to function as a local shopping plaza. In 1997, a renovation was carried out by the EMBT team by allowing the existing structure to remain by making adjustments to the new roof support framework and changing the layout of the structure inside. And this is the collection of visual materials that I want to use to envision my design concept, where I use RAM as the main vertical transportation and also a vertical fin which will become the building envelope that we responding to wind movement and also my visibility connectivity concept that I will explain shortly. And also using some of Yogyakarta's ornament that's used on Yogyakarta's traditional house which is Bangsal Kencono. And this is uh, the bubble diagram that will show the connectivity of each rooms. And there's also this A zoning that includes macro and micro zoning. So there will be four main concepts. Uh, the first one is visibility connectivity, cultural aspect, aksara tubuh, and self-sustain. So the first one is visibility connectivity, where minimizing the massive buildings by creating a partitions in its uh, surroundings of the building in order to create visibility between spaces that make connections in this public zone. The second one is cultural aspect, making the Krangen market as one of the cultural nodes in the city of Yogyakarta with the use of Yogyakarta's ornament that can be one of the main attractions. So the third one is Aksara Tubuh. Aksara Tubuh basically is a body script, is a dance inspired by the art form of the Japanese script that is Aksara Jawa, where the creation of beautiful dynamic movement. The use of the script of the word pa 
as a prefix in this market is the basis for finding the shape of the roof that reflects the local culture that continues to develop dynamically. The last one is self-sustain, a public space that can sustain itself without any maintenance or excessive use of power, creating an open space by responding to the direction of air circulation and natural lighting. So there's also an ornament philosophy. There are several ornament philosophy that I will use on my design that comes from uh, Bangsal Kencono. Some of them are Tlacapan, Sorotan, Mirong, Praba Ornament, Hiasan Tumpak, dan Banyu Tatas, where each of them that has a meaningful value in life. And this is the side plan where, as you can see, there will be a separate entrance and exit on the side. And there's also the main entrance to the building on the bottom left corner and there's also some other entrance on the top right corner and some ad addition to the left and also right side of the building based on wind movement analysis where I cut diagonally and use it as the path for a loading dock. And this is the second and third floor where I added the third floor based on the smaller portion of the first floor and transferring the mass to the third floor. And this is the elevation where as you can see that I minimize the use of massive wall and change it with vertical fin made out of pulling wood and that can be just referring to feasibility connectivity concept and also sustainability. And this is the sections of the two-dimensional sections where I use RAM as the main vertical transportations in order to make it more easily to move from one floor to another. So this is the module where you can sell in the traditional Kranga market where there are two, two types of stalls, one type of kiosk and two types of loss where each of types has a different types of uh, merchandise ranging from traditional food, meat, fish, and others. And this is the three-dimensional visualizations of the external detail. Uh, and there's also interior detail, uh, indoor communal area, lost perspective, and exterior perspective. And this is the axonometric structures, where the main structure that I use is the space truss to create the wavy roof. And this is also some exploded axonometric that visualize the utility of clean water and to fire network and vertical transportations. And this is the landscape sections located on the, the entrance of the site. Becoming one of the most potential public spaces in the central city of Yogyakarta, Redesigning Pasar Traditional Kranggans aims to achieve this place as a local destination that showcase our food delicacies, our local craftsmanship, and uh, showcase how the traditional market in Indonesia especially uh, works, the social, the economic interactions between the producers and also the consumers and also showcase the richness of the architectural uh, detailing in Yogyakarta.